Some of them make great hats, okay? They protect you from the rain. You wear underwear. Unless they're not very okay. absorbent. Well, that's gonna have to be a conversation for after this broadcast. I wanna know why you wear underwears <laughs> on your head. <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right, so familiar. let's get into this game. Yes, this does look familiar. And uh, so you're rooting for underwear. I've gotta say, if you're playing Adam, I've gotta root for you. So uh, underwear has definitely got my pick as well. Um, and it really is up to this Haven deck. I think I think this Haven deck is kind of like the make or break for Piao. If he can get past this, I think his PTP deck is just fine. Um, but the, the Haven deck seems still kind of iffy to me. The only problem with uh, with Adamy is that he gets absolutely destroyed by Tribunal. <laughs> so... Yes, he does. However, with these Bone Chimeras, it kind of does make it a little better. You can yeah, you can bit. leave some other followers around. Ooh, and he's got the perfect hand for an Atomy if he had one. So this is where he would put his Atomies if he had any. That is true. Right. But we don't see any black inscriptions on the side of Piao here, so Shadow Generation is still going to be real. Next turn, there is a Priest of the Cudgel. Um, but for the most part, these Shadows will get generated, and Followers dying promotes that staircase to actually pop and then maybe pull something like an Atomy. Oh, he didn't get it, so... It's gonna be bad Not for him. It. That's right. And the later the game goes, the easier and easier it is for Haven to actually deal with cards like Atomy. However, <laughs> this is kind of gonna turn into a game of I just need to generate a ton of shadows. I really hope I pull Deathly Tyrant off of my staircase and hope that it can just end the game when it when I can play it. That is true, but he has a, he's gonna be a one shadow here. <laughs> which is right. like, Not a lot. Not a lot. Absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Haven, Haven is technically one of the best answers to Shadow in more ways than one, not just because of the Banish, but because of the massive board clears, and because it has an endgame that you can't really fight through in Aegis. So it's kind of it's kind of an awkward matchup, but as we've seen in, in uh, from the Haven side, you can just not draw the right cards to do anything on the appropriate turns. So, mm -hmm. but... Atomy being Atomy can just beat itself also, so... We've seen that actually happen more often than not. Underwear's gotten, like, one good Atomy hand, as far as we've seen. Of course, he probably got a ton getting here. Um, well, but yeah, maybe for he's sure. failing Obviously. a little here. I think he's trying to make the use of this, the best use of the soul conversion here, in case it draws Atomy. Mm -hmm. Also, just getting extra value out of Haunted House is never bad. Mm -hmm. Might even decide to soul convert the 1 2. No, decides not to. He did draw Atomy, okay. Ooh. Well, if you soul convert the Skull Beast, you get rid of your staircase and you can't cast Atomy, so. That's true, that's true. I so like he's got it. the two skeletons, okay. Okay. I believe. And Drelfus is in hand too that he could evolve. However, this Beast Call Arya is going to be able to take out the two one ones. Ooh. That's interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> I mean, I guess Beast Call could have killed it because the bird plus the tiger. If you evolve the tiger, right. it's to eight damage. So, but he can just evolve the tiger. Yeah. Yep. And this tiger is going to actually be an, an enormous threat. However, staircase is popping, so a bunch of new cards for underwear coming into hand next turn. Oh, tribunal. Yeah, tribunal. One of the best cards that Haven had, and that card is not going wow. anywhere. Holy Andrelfus, Batman. <laughs> a lot of card draw here. Yeah, I think this is pretty easy. Andrelfus, Evo, and the Soul Squasher. And then you can just start chaining. I would honestly even uh, probably Soul Convert the Andrelfus, too. It's barely susceptible to Banish. Okay. So not giving himself the option to Androlfus and Soul Squasher in the same turn, at least with an Evo. This is interesting. He may he's not saving the evolve for Tyrant, I can't imagine. Don't need to. I guess I guess knowing that there are frog clerics in the deck of Piao, the maybe 13 is not enough, so maybe that is what he's saving it for, but he's still got a, he's still got a lot of time uh, before that's even relevant. Of course he's gotta get to 20 shadows for that to be relevant. And with the bodies that Piao is presenting, it he might not even have anywhere close to that amount of time. Uh, I don't think he does, no. 
Because yeah, he didn't evolve a... Andropha's last turn, he can't exactly do that and then do anything this turn, so... Right. Kind of missed a good opportunity to get some extra card draw there, but... Yeah, and, and there actually is no but. There's not really much to do with this hand. This is kind of just like a self yeah. hand. Yeah. Can't even get through that cleric answer at the Let's moment, see. so it's going to have to try to dig for an answer. Larching Corpse is okay. Ish. Ish. No no Ish. real ways to use it, though. Not yet, anyway. But now, I think it's just a value game. I'm going to play a bunch of followers. I hope they draw a bunch of cards, and I hope I don't die before then. 10 damage know, on board, so... Yeah, exactly. And, and as we know, this, this Cleric Lancer, even if it gets dealt with, there can be a follow-up Cleric Lancer... To just stuff up the board again here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and a Taurus to help finish out the aggro game plan from Haven here. Yeah, yeah I this can't is imagine... looking really bad for underwear. <laughs> like... Yeah, I can't imagine not just going face here. Like, just face yeah, everything. everything. Yeah. And just pass. Like, you have your Tribunal popping next turn. You don't really care if anatomy comes down. Deathly Tyrant's not an option yet. Yeah, and that's exactly what Piao's doing. There's only four power on board and not even 20 shadows, so you can't die to really anything. Right. And yeah, plus Taurus being able to come down next turn. Okay, decides to go a little defensive here. Just to put out another second player. Player answer. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Can't hate on that play. Couldn't deal with the first one, probably can't deal with two of them. Well, if he had a Tyrant, he could go around it. But that's true. Is playing the Dead Moon Disciple not an often seen card, but it is a one play point one one that allows a follower to ignore Ward. So kind of like a combo card with Deathly Tyrant to get through even Cleric Lancers in the end game. But he's gotta make it there. Still staring down this huge board with not a lot of ways to deal with it. Does have a demon eater to go with along with his lurching corpse now for some value. Mm-hmm. This board actually isn't lethal by itself. It needs it needs Taurus to win. Right. Interestingly enough. But Taurus, that, that kind of like great middle option. It's a great defensive card. It's a great offensive card. Can't say any bad things about Taurus. And you can pull it off of Aether. Double Atomy? Okay. Got a good hit. Actually, no, he didn't because those Cleric Lancers are only one power on offense. So actually wants to No, they're not, the yeah. You want to hit the Tiger, yeah. The only problem with playing Atomy this turn is that uh, the Tribunal is yeah, ticking down exactly. next turn. Exactly. Might go for it anyway. That's interesting. Probably just to pop the staircase just to get more options next turn. Probably doesn't think in any way, shape, or form that a card like Taurus can, beat, can win this turn. I mean, knows that it's in the deck, but of course we know it. Taurus showing off right here. And I guess winning before I guess even came down. With Taurus the Great. Oh, poor Atomy. He is great. But yeah, Atomy needs to start drawing better. Okay, Envy, I'm tired of Underwear not having Atomy in opening hand. We've seen it once. That's not enough. We need to see it like every game. Every single game. I think, all honestly, the time. Atomy had an okay draw that game. It's just, it got hit by Tribunal. And Tribunal is just too good against Atomy. You, you can't. It's four play points, kill your Atomy. What do you do? It's true. I think Atomy has a really good shot against PTP for us, though. I actually don't know if there's oh, yeah. any oh, way yeah. in Piao's deck to actually yes. deal with Atomy, except for Pixie Mischief. Which is not a bad answer to it. It's actually a pretty sweet answer to it. But, it's pretty um, funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny to bounce Atomies back to your opponent's hand after they sack their entire board and play it. Oh, he chose Sword this time. He's not going to go with Atomy. Okay. He's like, you know what? I need to take a break. Makes sense. He picked a horrible matchup. This He's playing mid-range sword, so... Yes, he did. And we saw this matchup already play out once in favor of PTP. Let's see if Piao can do it again. I find it interesting. So, I had talked a little bit about it yesterday. What do you think of Pure Hardened Singer? What do you think about the card in general? Do you think people should be playing it? Do you like it? Like, anything. I think it's a draft card. So you don't like it for constructed play? I think a three a three play point one two, even though it draws two cards, is not quite good enough in constructed right now. Mm -hmm. It probably fits in PTP. It probably works fine in PTP, but it's more of a draft card for me personally. 
interesting. Because yesterday we saw a lot of people running it, and uh, and it seemed to be like a pretty popular option. So just interesting to see the dissection of thought there. It's a really good quick blader, actually. <laughs> yeah, probably probably necessary quick blader to to keep value here. And because of it, is really actually going to make that hedgehog turn into a monster. That hedgehog is staying around for a while. Oh, maybe not. Airbound Barrage can change that. Next turn, yeah. Next turn, yes. <laughs> Corroded Singer is a plus one, though. She replaces herself immediately, and then when she dies, she uh, she gets a plus one there. So, mm -hmm. not a bad card, obviously. So, Alexa, not Geno here. Still builds up the little uh, hedgehog, though. It's kind of an awkward hand for Piat right now. Ooh. Got the, uh, have, do you does, ring an altered fate? I don't think you do it on the turn of. I think you have to wait. Because then yeah. you obviously give yourself an opportunity to draw it again. When she to draw it lose. again, yeah. <laughs> but definitely good to see. Um, again, we just get to see the power of Mystic Ring in like all of its different variations. Like good in PTP, good in Daria. We saw it in Dragon. Um, I mean, there's just a lot of places where you can just kind of fit it in in decks that need that effect. It just helps smooth out your draws. It's amazing for combo decks, hundred mm -hmm. percent. I'm interested to, to uh, it's 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 noticeable that we've seen a, a lack of Mystic Ring in Roach Force, and in saying that, like you can really Mystic Ring anything in Force just to give yourself more tempo, and it's a cheap card to like utilize with a Roach combo. So and but we haven't seen it in pure Roach yet, which is interesting. To me. I think I said I interesting know. like fifteen times in that sentence. But. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, it is, It is. to be <laughs> fair, it is extremely interesting. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so not a lot of good defensive options here for Piao. Um, might decide to just Altered Fate this hand away after Mystic Ringing. But also, what are you trying to find? Maybe another Airbound Barrage to kill that Bane? We'll just, don't find anything. Just get rid of Altered Fate. You Mystic Ring, Altered Fate, Fairy Circle, Altered Fate. Okay. And then you're really close. Because Mr. String's a minus one. He goes down to eight total if he plays Mr. Green. That's true. Maybe giving, yeah, maybe getting rid of the second Altered Fate. Not a huge deal. Because there would still be one left in the deck. Okay. okay. That's easy. Besides you can ditch that for sure. Goes for a Fairy Evolve play. Before all. So maybe not Altered Fading this turn. Maybe going for an Elf Child May. Yep, trying to snipe. Aw, rip. A little bit of a whiff, but then gets to build up a nice little board here. So, interesting turn there. I like that line of play. And underwear, not with a, not with really great options, not with really bad options either. Basically just no, pressing the game. Underwear's line. in a really weird spot. Goes for the Geno. Uh, Geno on the 4-3? Yeah, just trying to present value. Maybe maybe try to build up a big board here to protect with front guard general next turn to lead into... Like, he's got a good lead in turn here. He's got front guard into Fangblade Slayer into Albert. Probably going to try to conserve that Evo point for Albert, especially after this turn, putting his opponent to 10. That is, of course, unless Piao doesn't really have any answers to this board, which he doesn't at the moment. So he's. I, I feel like he has to alter fate. If he didn't last turn, he definitely has to this turn. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's that pixie mischief. Very <laughs> circle altered fate. Yep, there we go. Let's see. We, he did draw into an airbound barrage and a roach, so can clear out some. Things and a fairy turn. beast as well. So. And a fairy beast for next turn. Yep. So, yep. Attack. Airbound barrage. Replay the may. Hope to get lucky. Oh yeah, it doesn't have to get lucky because you get to target. No, everyone just is, is a targeted effect. <laughs> yeah, it is perfect. And then can Evo to clear up the entire board if Piao wants. Can't imagine. Don't think it being it's necessary. Too bad of a choice. Uh, I mean, it's not, it it's not bad. Be. But like, how do you front deal with general, the follow-up plays, right? Like, yeah, not not having an easy answer to front card. Yeah. Yeah, because you could evolve in three three. Uh, go in for a three three. Right. Eh. 
Because next turn I'm thinking like, okay, deep, if if yeah, well that that's that's the whole option I'm talking about. Like if front guard general comes down next turn, fairy beast is literally the only follower in the entire deck big enough with an evo to take out a front guard general. So it might it might be the only line of play here, and I think that's what he's thinking about. Oh, oh he goes for it. All right, so going to be a very hard to deal with front guard general. Basically, might not even be able to deal with any follower that Underwear plays for the rest of the game at this point. Without without completely Roach comboing into it. Front guard into Albert Novice Trooper? No, he just has Fangblade. Ooh. Okay. Underwear really showing his preference for playing Mars on turns where he can get value out of them. I've seen that most of the time when he has options to do other things. Maybe it just doesn't feel like he's under any pressure to put the front guard general in play. Me looking at the deck list, knowing there's no Evo points left, I probably would have played front guard just because I know there's no way to deal with it. It does push some pretty good damage here, though, so... It does, but it doesn't set up a lethal turn, and you already had a lethal setup with Albert anyway. So not a necessary play, I don't think. But not a bad one, True. it's not like it's going to lose him the game. I think Fairy Beast is kind of a must here, unfortunately. Unless he just wants to try to full clear with Double Roach. Doesn't go for Fairy Beast. I mean, if you expect Fame Blade Slayer, you know if you Fairy Beast, you're just on the same value anyway. So That's true. That's true. And I guess he doesn't need to use both Roaches this turn. He does have a trade with his uh, Elf Child May here. So yeah. we'll, we'll have to expend one Roach without playing the Fairy Beast here, knowing that he still has a turn before Albert comes out, so can wait a turn for the Fairy Beast. Mm -hmm. Probably thinking about playing maybe the second Wood of Brambles as well, just to make that Elf Child May really easy to play, and then just follow up with a Roach. Yep, yep, there he goes. Okay, so it goes for the Roach. Okay. Whoa! It doesn't matter. Either way, they trade the same. Yeah, yeah, double, double bramble. Double mm -hmm. Interesting, though. I don't really know what, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> Council of Card Knights showing up. Doesn't necessarily need to be drawn here. There's plenty of gas on the hand here. Yeah. Fairy yeah. Beast is a must, like we were talking about. And again, unfortunately, though. Oh, okay. I like this line. All right, recognizes that there is a problem, wants to get a ton of damage on this front guard so that it can't have the five power next turn to go along with Albert to deal 11. I like this play a lot. Mm -hmm. Also could have bounced Fairy Beast to play it again. But That's true. You can do that next turn if he wants to. Yeah. And I think this actually will prompt something like a Fangblade Slayer just to get the Fairy yeah. Beast away so it cannot be played again. Yep. Right. And now, Cow is in a really bad spot. Literally has no resources left to actually win the game with. Doesn't have his PTPs. Doesn't have any really way to stabilize against his board. So he draws. All right, but he does have a Mystic Ring, does have Pure Ordered Singer, does have a few Nature's Guidances to cycle, so he's gonna have to draw into something here. Nature's to find Nature's. Hey, Trying to get a PTP, I would assume. Rip. Rip. <sighs> Not going to be this turn. Hey, and yeah, even if he deals with this Fangblade Slayer, like this this Albert over the course of two turns is is going to be too hard to deal with, I think. I don't think there's anything left realistically in Piao's deck to deal with it. Well, Albert also does enough to put uh, Piao at one, so. Right. Even if he gets PTP online, Council just wins. Yeah. And he might not even play Albert this turn. He doesn't have to. He could just play the Council of Card Knights to be super defensive. Into even a veteran Lancer. Just to just to shore up any possible chance that Piao has to win. Obviously, two Roaches are already gone, so Roach combo is kind of out of the question. So there's not really a mm -hmm. lot to be afraid of. Especially since, you know, Piao has got 12 cards left in the deck, and he's not drawing Altered Fate or PTP at all. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so here's a question. So we're assuming that Underwear is probably going to take this win, unless there's some crazy miracle from, from Piao. Um, going into the Atomy match versus PTP, who do you think's favorite there? Do you think it's still just a, a luck of the draw with the Atomy deck? Do you think that it has any type of different game uh, against Forest, uh, especially this particular type, or yeah, just a gamble? I think that Atomy should win that every time almost. Really? Okay. Just because yeah. maybe PTP takes too long to set up, or... Takes way too long to set up. He still can't draw it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's yeah. got this nine is cards. This not what you want to see. This is, this is what I was talking about. Like, <laughs> PTP is kind of cool, and like playing all two drops and one drops is kind of cool, but sometimes that's all you get are your two and your one drops, and it feels kind of bad. On, Just doing whatever he can, trying to spike the two one. And just playing out cards. Literally lose to yourself. Right. So PTP, this particular PTP deck, more than most, actually feels kind of like an Atomy deck because it's like kind of like a bunch of skeletons and uh, and then like your big follower. In in this instance, it's PTP instead. Um, and you just didn't draw them. So I think we're really basically going to was able to lose. Match. Was able to win a really good, a really bad matchup also. Like. Right. Underwear didn't underwear did not want to find that matchup and he won it, so. That's right. Did have to win that matchup regardless and got it out of the way. So now has a pretty decent chance. I would say this is like really 50-50. I think they're both playing Atomy, just in different so? variations. Yeah, I think it's kind of the same with how Piao built his deck. Like old PTP decks had a had a range of options, right? Tia's and you know, trying for maybe roach comboing more, more fairy beasts, all that kind of stuff. Even Crystallia errands, like all that stuff. But he, Kiao just completely negated all of that. And like I said, it's just playing all one and two drops with PTP with a fairy beast. So a much different version than we've seen in the past. I don't know. I feel like his, his quote unquote Atomy is just too, it's online too slow, I think, compared right. to real Atomy. And quite honestly, without Pixie Mischief, if Atomy comes out soon, you're right. That there's actually one deck can deal with followers, the other deck can't really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, there there's a Pixie Never Mischief. Mind. Perfect. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Got it. But there is no Atomy again for Underwear. Just does not like drawing that card. And Caridwin oh, honestly is... doesn't do much against a bounced Atomy. Gotta wait for that Atomy to die. He did Ooh. it! Okay. He did it! On turn three, here we go. <laughs> it's gonna get mischief, but whatever. It's gonna get it. mischief. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty hilarious. You're like, I it's just won the jackpot. Play. And then your opponent's just like, sup, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta feel terrible. It doesn't matter. He popped a staircase, he can do it again. That's true. Yeah, he can do it again. <laughs> so he can play one. He can't do it this turn, but he can do it next yeah. turn. Just play the Spark Toy Soldier. Maybe in, maybe in Skull Beast. He might not attack a Skull Beast, right? Nah, Skull Beast dies to uh, Wilded Brambles and May. Yeah. So Easy trades. Squasher and Skull Beast. That those are both gonna get eaten up pretty hard, probably. I don't really mind playing the Soul Squasher against this type of deck because you're not really worried about expending the shadows on whatever evolved follower that Piao has, considering they're just going to be one ones more more than likely. So mm -hmm. I don't mind expending the Soul Squasher there. I also love how we've been talking a lot about the Atomy deck, but Piao has drawn both of his uh, both of his Path of Purgatories. That's true. So both players draw on their end game stuff. In the first like six like six cards he had, them I just didn't mention it. <laughs> like... Right. Piao playing so this pretty uh, pretty interestingly. Like he kept the board alive. So if Atomy comes down, there's a board here that can trade into him with that. This brand actually bones. prevents Atomy from coming down, clearing the entire board, and Underwear not saving any any of his followers for this turn. Had to top deck something cheap in order to get that Atomy back out, but didn't. Mm -hmm. So actually interesting that he did play out his followers last turn. Maybe maybe not so heads up there. And Brambles is actually a pretty interesting card here. It's going to trade into those skeletons for free. 
Mm-hmm. We can't really do anything. So I think this is a turn we will, where we will see a Path to Purgatory come down because he just drew the Altered Fate, and there's not really amazing plays outside of that. Mm-hmm. Could go for a full Wood of Brambles. Okay, I don't mind this either. Just yeah, keep fill the board, the board you can trade for days. May the mm -hmm. be at peace. And also on six play points, you can just go, you know, Path to Purgatory, Altered Fate. Also just really making it tough. For underwear to play these enemies again. Like, super <laughs> tough. What a Bramble showing off yet again. Case. Yeah, you can't, you can't get it out. Like, it's not gonna happen. Oh, this will summon a Chimera, I believe. Into a haunted house, which doesn't really do anything. Actually, it can do something this turn. That clash effect that was killing that haunted house. Piao with the BM. Better than expected. Better than expected. <laughs> so this will have to go face because it cannot trade, yeah, unfortunately. Poor ghosts. And next turn, finally, unless Piao does what he keep what he's been showing that he will do is just keep continuing to clear the board. Um, Adami might be able to come out next turn, but also might not be able to. What happens he also could just die. <laughs> so. He also could just die, that's true. So yeah, actually I think I think you don't need to play the kind of footsie game anymore. Maybe even just PTP Altered Fate and not be afraid. Mm -hmm. But also, I mean, I don't see any problem with just denying followers on the side of Underwear and just maintaining control for turn after turn, because the closer you can get to the Path of Purgatory, the better, right? Right, use the wood. Oh, it looks like he's gonna fairy evolve instead. Okay, interesting. He's gonna clear the bone chimera completely. Mm -hmm. I like the play. And that's this is kind of where Spartoy Soldier is kind of showing that it's 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 kind of an awkward card because it costs so much. It's it's being really prohibitive on the lat. Well, okay, staircase popping makes everything super easy, but it's kind of prohibitive on like even turn six and before to try to play multiple things in a single turn to try to pop out of me. It is, yeah, in the early game, yeah. Spartoy Soldier's strength really kind of comes from the fact that it uh, trades with a lot of sword followers. Yep, but against Agra Sword, it. and it does build shadows for Tyrants, so it's not it's not the worst card by any means. Just just interesting choice. Right, true. Tyrant's something we haven't mentioned in a while, even though he's still a realistic thing, and you know now that eighteen shadows have shown up, very realistic. Yep, this is a game where Tyrant could actually do something. There we go. It's your boy, Mi Adamy. Missed ya. And what if Bramble's finally gonna run out of gas here? So no more free trades for Piao. Altered Fate immediately oh, doesn't find goodness. mischief. Does find another Altered Fate, though. He did. And a can't Fairy Circle 20, and what of Bramble's. Shots, yeah, yeah, but he can't get 30 shots with it. Not this turn. Yeah, these goblins are just looking super awkward to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I think that's realistically the only play, though. I think you Fairy Circle, Wood of Brambles, and then Altered Fate, and then just hope you kind of get there. Fill up ye old hand and ditch it all. Didn't play the Fairy Circle. Maybe, what do you think he's looking for there? Maybe an Airbound Barrage? Probably, yeah. Take out the atomy. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly it. And he got there. And next turn he will be in Path of Purgatory range. So this is a big turn for Underwear. He's gotta do he's gotta make something happen here. And the Atomy might be the only thing, because it's the only thing in his deck that kind of survives to the Path of Purgatory popping, so he's gotta Atomy again. Yep, yep. Which isn't that bad. It means at 24 shadows, if Adamy lives and attacks, and he top decks Tyrant, then... Yep. Yep. So I think I think Staircase has to come down here with the Adamy in order to try to tutor the, the Deathly Tyrant. And that's, that is the route to victory here. I think it's the only one. I think Underwear's just going over his plans right now. Yep, 
see yeah, the same line. Sure. And then he can, he can put up a ward to protect. To. Yeah. Yep. I, I will. Oh. I, I, I don't know why he didn't play the ward there. This opens not only Roach up to being able to kill the Atomy, um, but just leaving it defenseless regardless. So that damage is not going to be dealt. I'm just going to imagine it was like... Hand. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess he just wanted the 2-2 the two, two instead of the 1 attack on the board. Like 2 attack on board instead of 2. But the, two the 1 on damage two. versus 2 I don't think really matters when you consider that Deathly Tyrant is the out here. What if because, he doesn't find again, it? Well, that's true. If he doesn't find it, he needs to deal damage, I guess. But I don't think one or two is a big difference because that Probably. one or two essentially is saying, I don't mind losing my eight damage, which is a lot more than one or two. Underwear actually triggered, almost triggered PTB first. <laughs> like... That's true. That's true. They're <laughs> that's both insane. very good at generating shadows. They just do different things with them. All right, building up to the to 30 shadows a fancy way. Overdrawn a fairy there. He's gonna use the roach to attack the atomy here. So mm -hmm. he'll die to PTP. And this will set up basically a lethal a lethal game plan. There's gonna have to be like double tyrant realistically to win this game now, because nothing's gonna be able to stay on play on the side of underwear. Ooh, and gets fairy, fairy beast is gonna be. Pretty so, good. I think that's actually a game-winning fairy beast. I think even now a tyrant gets played. Well, no, actually it's not because the tyrant's a 13-13. No, what am it's I saying? Tyrant's 13-13, yeah. yeah. Nope. Oh, hey, he got it. Ooh. He got it. All right. So that was step one. And we already know that Piao mul or got rid of his other PTP. So he's got a top deck of Roach here. Okay, he did. But can he get through the ward now as well? So this, so underwear finally getting that ward out on on a very appropriate turn. There is absolutely one way to get rid of it, and it's with Elf Song. I think with May the has the hit also. Yeah, this is it right here. Yeah. I don't think so, right? Elf Song. No, attack, yeah, double Elf Song, approach. double Elf Song. My bad. Yeah. Awesome! What an awesome game. Oh my gosh, dude. What a freaking <laughs> awesome game. Oh my gosh. Tyrant oh, versus PTP both go off. <laughs> and I realistically feel like the biggest thing that happened that could have changed was Underwear not playing that ward to protect his atomy. Oh, he would have yeah. won the game on the spot. What the heck did I just watch? <laughs> Right? That is not a matchup you watch in 2017, okay? <laughs> no, it's North not. North American, that is some NGE Shadowverse Open 2017 North American gameplay right there. That's what that was. Tried and true. <laughs> it is the, the pride <laughs> of North America right there. Unlocked.